Hey everybody, Tim and Julie here for a graphic novel video. One that I, I haven't done a graphic novel video in a while. Mm -hmm. But it's a classic Batman story. We are doing Batman 1966, the ominous edition. Look how thick that is. That is massive. Over 900 pages. Yeah, like it's huge. Uh, mostly written by Jeff Parker, which I've met before at Rose City Comic Con. Nice guy. So huge like i mean i'm gonna kind of scroll through my notes because i have so many notes it's crazy there's like 73 issues it's like 48 stories roughly so we'll just round up because why why not so like 50 stories of batman written by jeff parker batman 1966 so it's kind of the adam west burt ward years because so before we read this we watched this series Right. We watched the movie, we watched the animated series, the new animated series, and we watched the movies, the Return of the Cape Crusaders, and we watched Return of the Batcave, the documentary right. type movie. Lots of stuff. So this is, I mean, this is a huge book. Look how big, that's a big book. Mm -hmm. um, and there's actually more of this. I actually emailed uh jeff parker and we did like a like a interview through email that i might record or post or something where i was like you know because there's there's batman 66 meets the man from uncle there's meets like wonder woman from 77 the linda carter uh there's all sorts of stuff. the green hornet so there's actually like you could make an ominous omnibus book based off of batman meeting other people as well so mm -hmm. there's there's more than just this which is even crazier uh so a lot of stuff goes on i think jeff parker does a really really good job of capturing the voice of adam west and burt ward where there are there are certain parts that i'm not gonna lie the the drawing style it varies from issue right. to issue Sometimes it doesn't work for me, and sometimes it's fantastic. It's really, really well done. And I've said this about other comics, not just this one, but just comics in general, where I have read a fantastic story. The writing was amazing, but the drawing was terrible, and so I couldn't get into it. And vice versa, I have read some really, really shitty stories in my life. Because, I mean, I worked at a comic shop and everything. So I've read some really terrible stories. But the drawing was so good and it was so well done. that I was like, I don't even care if it's a terrible story. Like, I'm in it just to, just to look at the pages. So when you have, like, 50 different stories and they're all changing, sometimes you get some, sometimes you don't. There are certain times when the drawing style and Jeff Parker's writing perfectly matches. And like, I can hear Adam West's voice where he's like, way to go, old chum. Like, I can just hear it. And especially Burt Ward, where he's like, holy, whatever, 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 Batman. And he did a fantastic job. Um, so I have a few of my favorite stories. Is Does anything super stand out to you? Or you just want me to keep going? You just keep going. I'll just keep going. Because I'm super excited. <laughs> so I think he did a great job of bringing in a lot of new characters. Like we actually see the Red Hood. Mm -hmm. We see Arkham Asylum, which is something we didn't see in the original series. Uh, they bring in characters like Harley Quinn. Right. Which I've, That's actually where I met Jeff Parker for the first time. If I was smarter, I would have had it like ready. But I have a sketch variant cover where he drew the Joker and Harley for me. It's like, and it's literally right on the other side of this wall right here. Um, so we, we get that. So I think he took some interesting liberties where like making the Clock King and the Mad Hatter brothers, I thought was really, really odd, but interesting. Like I would love to talk to him more about that. You do see a few different of the cat women because at first it's clearly just Julie Newmar. But then eventually you get to a Batgirl comic where Eartha Kitt's Catwoman makes an appearance. I was like, oh, okay, I'm down for that. At first when we see King Tut, I was like, oh, I'm so sick of King Tut. 
Because I was reading this the same time we were watching the series. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I am so done with King Tut. But then, like, in the, in the year 1292, that's where you see King Tut's minion, Waylon, become Killer Croc. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, that's how they're doing Killer Croc. So it kind of made sense for me. And I was like, I mean, if you had to do it, then I guess it makes sense. There is an issue where uh, Lisa Carson makes an appearance. Now, for those that don't know, in season three, Lisa Carson is played by Lee Merriweather. And so she had previously played Batgirl. Right. Or no, she, play, she played Catwoman, Catwoman in the movie. And now she's playing a different character in season three. So I loved that. Um, kind of updating and changing characters, things like uh, False Face becoming Clayface. They introduced Scarecrow, like I said, Harley Quinn, Hugo Strange. The Two-Face was supposed to actually be in the original series. If it had gotten to season four, Two-Face was going to be in it. And so they actually kind of altered a little bit and put it in here. Now, we watched the Two-Face movie, right. and so this is very, very different for the two, because he's already Two-Face in, in this comic. Um, but it's it's still really kind of interesting. All sorts of characters returning, like Marsha, Zelda, uh, whatever the Arrows character name is. Who cares? I didn't even like him. I was like, why, everybody, why would you bring him back? Uh, Egghead, the Archer, that's what it was. Um... Uh, we see Bane. Bane. Yep, Bane Poison makes his Ivy. appearance. Poison Ivy. Yep, Poison Ivy was an interesting one. Joker, of course. Yeah, which I, I actually like. There was an issue where the Joker becomes like Joker Man to become mm -hmm. like the superhero. I love that one. That yeah. one really stood out to me. Um. So overall, what did you think for the whole comic? Yeah, that's good. You know, it just it took me a long time to read it. But, I mean, it's over a thousand pages. Yeah, like it's it's it, a big one. It's big. Um, but like I told you, the drawings in there at the end, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is were, the Two Face mm, one. Yeah, they were good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well done. And then they the last story was it. Um, the two face I did it on. Uh the very no, last one I think was no oh. Har with Harvey Dent and I don't know. <laughs> was, yeah. But it was a good book. I enjoyed reading it even yeah. though it took so long. Yeah. I mean that's kinda I feel like that's kind of the goal though, is to like I mean just look at the artwork. Like you just you just have to appreciate it and just take time. Right. Like, this is not a book to just, like, oh, I'm just going to read this in a day. I mean, I could read this in a day, but, <laughs> I mean, it's just, there's so much. Mm -hmm. And it's just so beautiful. Yeah. It's same. really, really well done. Okay. Um, any other thoughts? Like, Jeff Parker actually lives here in Portland. Mm. That's that's why he goes to, like, Rose City every year. So, who knows? Maybe we'll actually see him someday. Okay. Yeah. Um, any other closing thoughts for... I mean, this is it. This is the last of the classic videos we're going to do. Yeah. Any other closing thoughts for Adam West and all of the characters? It was a good series. I enjoyed watching them and re-watching some. And, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed them. I did. I hope this comes back because I actually did really enjoy it. So, yes. and as we keep as we finish the series and then reading this, like I feel like these are stories that need to be told. Right. So I feel like there are more. Uh -huh. There's there's more there to keep going. So, okay. Any other closing thoughts? No. Oh, okay. So once again, for those who have read Jeff Parker's Batman 1966, I'm just gonna keep flashing it up there. <laughs> Uh, what did you guys think about it? I, if you haven't read it, you need to read it. You need to check it out. I hope there is more so at some point. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Jeff Parker will show up someday. Uh, so for those who have read it, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We will see you guys next time.